the thoughts of Graham Merch first, you know, he's kind of been the headliner so far coming in as a transfer from Wisconsin. And he, he mentions the, the direction of the program under Billy Napier. It was a big selling point, Will, for why he chose Florida. Quote, I came down here. And I mean, you fall in love with the weather. You fall in love with the people. Great coaches, great teammates. I love the direction that Coach Napier is taking this. And it's a program. It's set up. That is a pro program. You can, he says, you know, you can take program and you can capitalize the pro part of it. That's how he runs it here. So really just from the start, I fell in love with this and I knew this is the place I wanted to be. So the place he wants to be, transferring from Wisconsin, and let's hear from Graham Mertz on the fresh start, getting caught up because he was behind as a transfer and how he fits into this new scheme. For sure. I mean, I started a lot of games. I think it was like 30 – 32, 34 games at Wisconsin. Um, love that place. Love those people. Um, but, I mean, I was at the point in my career where, I, I yeah, I, I needed a fresh start, and, and I was excited for it. So it's it's really refreshing to get down here and get going. Personally, strength is, is accuracy. That's one thing that I'll hang my hat on. And uh, one thing that you always, when you're out there, that's one thing that you bring with you every day. I, I think going through my position at Wisconsin, um, I mean, I got to – I came in as a young kid and, and – matured through that process and I learned a lot of kind of taking what guys did when they came in to to grow and develop and I tried to just do all that and kind of match it all together so for me it was I mean, it's simple this position you got you got to know your stuff and it's, it's half the battle is just knowing it but the other half is applying it so I mean for me I wanted to know it through and through uh, and be able to apply it day one of spring so and then, yeah they, they were long days but I, I know they'll be worth it with I mean, that in mind, what's your feel on your fit in the offense, and how do you I feel love it, Coach man. Napier can kind of maximize your game? I love it. It's 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 freed me up to um, to really just make everybody make everybody better, make the team better, um, really spread the field out. I mean, in this offense, he sets it up to where you always have an answer, and that's one thing that as a quarterback, when you know you always have, always have that answer, I mean, that gives you true confidence. Um, but I mean, I've loved every day of practice. We're seven in and. Wish we had another 50. So, <laughs> I mean, I've been through, I've learned a lot. I mean, coming from Wisconsin is Big Ten. I mean, you get, it's, it's kind of a different style of, style of play, a little bit more upfront physical, and, and you get a little more mix of pressures and stuff like that. I mean, down here it's it's speed, and um, which is, it's a fun game. But, uh, I mean, take a lot of stuff, and I can take that stuff I learned from Wisconsin and apply it down here. And obviously, I mean, I've, I've learned so much in the past two months and change. So it's been a, uh, it's been great. How what different is this the system compared to what you ran at Wisconsin? And- <laughs> uh, I mean, I took one under center snap the other oh. day, and uh, it, felt weird then. it felt weird, which was which was wild. I mean, <laughs> I'm so used to being up there, so it was. Uh, it's, it's, it's different, but it's uh, it's it's really good. Is it more conducive, you think, to your talents? I think so. I mean, I will say, I will say. I mean, I'll kind of take you through a little story. Like high school, I mean, we were spread out through like sixty times a game. And then I went to – so that was one dress again. Went to Wisconsin. It was kind of a little more under center and, and true understanding of, of timing, anticipation, and having that background, which I am forever thankful for because I have that understanding of, all right, this is how this route concept times up. This is how my drop needs to time up. And then coming here, it's, it's, it's more in the gun, um, but you can translate that timing and that anticipation. So it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been a wild journey, but I think that it's all necessary for where, where we're going to go. Right, we'll, we'll be interested to see how much he can pull from his years at Wisconsin. And look, of course, uh, we've discussed it too, but also great to hear him talk about it, of getting to maybe open it up uh, a bit more here in this offense, spread the ball out a bit more, being in the shotgun instead of under center like he did at Wisconsin, and going back to doing more of what he did in high school where he garnered his high profile uh you know, high profile as a recruit. And, you know, went on to say, you know, he just wants to play some, just play some good football uh, when about, you know, needing to – needing to improve, eliminate turnovers. Uh, really just the biggest thing is, you know, knowing the rules, working through them. Um, this offense is so well put together, uh, and Napier always has an answer. He, he says he's a freaking technician when it comes to that, of his offense always having an answer for what the defense throws at it. So, quote, for us, it's just really sticking to the script, knowing your rules, knowing your checks, putting a little more on the checks on our plate, which I love because that's the system I came from, having two to three play calls in one, and then you're checking, killing, so it's a really – good offense so Graham Mertz there's his thoughts on how he fits 
into this new Billy Napier Gator offense. Yeah, you could see that grin on his face when uh, when <laughs> yeah. they asked him about the Wisconsin offense and how how different it was, and so he realizes, right? He realizes it's different. And I think everybody expects him to be better than he was at Wisconsin. The question is how much better, and yep. and that is going to be the open question: is is he going to take a Bo Nix leap like when Nix went from Auburn to Oregon? Is he going to take a Russell Wilson leap like when Russell Wilson went from NC State to Wisconsin? Or is it going to be sort of a moderate leap where, you know, he kind of replicates what he did at Wisconsin, maybe a little bit more accurate, maybe a few more yards per attempt or a yard or two more per attempt. But, um, you know, that's going to be the question. The question is going to be how quick is the conversion to the shotgun going back to something that he's more comfortable with really a transformative thing or is what he's put on tape for the last three years approximately what we're going to get? And what he put on tape for the last three years – wasn't terrible, but it was below average. And so the, you know, he's going to have to improve significantly to get to be an average quarterback. Now, if you look at Florida's schedule last year, average quarterback play probably still ends up with them like eight and four because they would have won some of the games that they lost when Richardson didn't play very well. And they would have lost all the games where Richardson played great, where they gave up 45 points anyway. And so, and so I think it's entirely possible to get a quarterback who doesn't play as well as Richardson did last year, but is more consistent along that path. And you end up winning more games because of it. So, you know, look, he's obviously got a lot of experience. He's not going to choke um, or he's not going to be, He's not going to be hesitant to let the ball fly when it's loud in Salt Lake City against Utah. Um, you know, whether or not you trust him specifically, I think is is I, I can understand why people would watch the Wisconsin tape and say, eh, I'm not really all that interested. I can understand why people would watch the Wisconsin tape and go, wow, that offense is awful. Like just put him in a decent system and, and Florida will be okay. And I think in many ways, like like I said earlier, spring is all lies. We will understand way more, I think, about this quarterback position when we see who maybe comes in through the portal. And if it's somebody who's like a high level going to compete for the starting job, then that probably says something about uh, Billy Napier's comfort level with Mertz or lack thereof. And if they bring in somebody who's sort of a solid backup, then I think that also says something about their confidence in Mertz because everybody expects Mertz to have the starting job. Um, you don't bring in a transfer who's got three years of starting experience to not start him. Um, the question that I always have is upside versus versus what are you trying to achieve this year? But again, I think with Napier needing to win games, it makes sense that Mertz would be in there. And and like I said, even even average to slightly below average, I still think you may end up going eight and four just because if it's consistent across the way, you don't lose games that you should win because you get a stinker from your quarterback. Like that Kentucky game last year mm. with just average quarterback play, Florida wins that game. The Missouri game with average, they win the game, but with average quarterback play, they win by 20. And, you know, the Tennessee game, the Florida State game, the Georgia game, they lose all those with Anthony Richardson playing well in, in all of them except for the Georgia game. And so, you know, look, I, I think since we're not expecting a national championship this year upcoming, um, you don't need a – I don't want to say you don't, you need more than a game – you don't need more than a game manager. I think you do need more than a game uh -huh. manager, but you need someone who's going to be able to manage the ups and downs. And, and that, I think, is one of the things that we probably should expect from Graham Mertz is that if he's going to be below, slightly below average, he'll be slightly below average in every game, not – you know, way above average and then way below average game after game after game, which is what we got last year. Yeah, how I'll put it, Will, I think you know, the quarterback doesn't need to carry the offense. As you said, I think more than a game manager, but the, the offense doesn't need to be on his shoulders. Now, there going to be times when the game is on his shoulders, but I'm saying, you know, game in moments. You know, I don't think the entire season rests on the quarterback position's uh, shoulders with this run game. I mean, you know, if it's there where we think it can be uh, played within the offense, uh, you know, not necessarily game manager type, as, as I said, but um, there's going to be a lot of that because of the, this Florida run game. But uh, Mertz was going to say this offense has freed me up really to make everybody better, make the team better, really spread the field out. Uh, this Napier sets up this offense where you always have an answer. And that's the one thing as a quarterback, you know, that you always have an answer and it gives you true confidence. And Will does go on to say uh, playing in the SEC, it's a fun game. Uh, conference prides itself on speed. And he's like, I got some speed on offense. Of course, there's speed on defense. But hopefully, you know, taking all that knowledge uh, from his Wisconsin days, all the playing experience uh, and, and knowledge uh, paired with this, uh, the, the knowledge of the new offense, uh, like he says, apply it down here. Uh, he's learned so much in two months that uh, it's been great, and hopefully he can put it all uh, together.